Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel, starting with The God of Destruction. Chapter 41 Chin felt that Vegito seemed to be hugging her into his arms. As this Vegito's embrace, it's so warm. Unfortunately, there will be no chance again, never, again. Chin lay quietly in Vegito's arms. Perhaps, dying like this is not unacceptable. However, after a while, Chin didn't feel at all like being hit by a laser shot. When Chin opened her eyes again, she saw an incredible scene. Vegito blocked Cyclops' laser beam with only one hand. And looking at Vegito, he seems very relaxed. Cyclops can't do him any harm at all. On the other hand, Scott did underestimate Vegito at the beginning and did not use his full strength. But after seeing Vegito easily blocking his laser with one hand, Scott began to increase the power. Now, the laser light is at its maximum power, but it still has no effect on Vegito. How is this possible? My Cyclops can easily penetrate the mountain. Scott said in disbelief. On my head, I started to sweat constantly due to excessive use of my ability. Ah, Scott was already firing the laser with all his strength. He didn't believe that the Cyclops he was so proud of could not hurt the opponent at all. However, no matter how hard Scott tried, his laser light still couldn't hurt Vegito at all. Is this all you have? Vegito never holds back against provocative people. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten the title of God of Destruction. A light blue light wave appeared from Vegito's hand and began to swallow up the radiant eye red light wave. What? What is this? Scott panicked as he looked at the light waves that kept advancing towards him. At this moment, he finally realized the gap between himself and Vegito. Professor, 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 save me. Scott fired the laser desperately, trying to stop the blue light wave from advancing towards him, but it had no effect. In desperation, Scott began to ask the professor for help. Vegito, let him go. Professor X begged Vegito. Scott is not only his student, but also one of the most powerful forces in X Academy. The current captain of the X-Men. Professor X is currently the most effective assistant. Professor X naturally didn't want Scott to die like this. Let him go, Professor, he didn't want to let me go just now. With a slight wave of his hand, the light wave reflected back to Scott at ten times the speed. Scott didn't even have a chance to scream, before he turned into ashes. Vegito, Vegito you. Professor X was a little unbelievable that one of his students actually killed another of his students. Okay, Professor, let's do it again next time, if there is a next time. Vegito said goodbye again and planned to leave. Wait a minute, can you take me with you? At this time, a voice sounded, not Chin, but little Naughty. Ever since he was little, Naughty has never been able to interact with others. Not to mention intimate things like hugs and kisses. In the little Naughty heart, he yearns for contact with others. And now, someone who is not afraid of her powers finally appears. He is so powerful, charming, and charismatic. It was as if God had heard his prayers and given him his own prince. Although it may be a little dangerous. But little Naughty didn't care. She finally met someone who wasn't afraid of her own powers. She didn't want to miss it. Mary, Shadow Cat Katie looked at the good sisters beside her in disbelief. This, bad guy, who just killed their teacher Scott now wants to kill him. Sorry, Katie. The little naughty boy turned around and broke away from Shadowcat's hand. Please let me follow you. I am willing to do anything. The little naughty said to Vegito again. On the other side, Chin looked at the naughty boy with envy. She also wants to go with Vegito. However, Chin knew that she couldn't leave. Now that Scott is dead, the department that persecuted Mutant is even more eyeing on X Academy. In addition, Apocalypse has been causing trouble. If she also leaves, there will really be no one available at X Academy. The professor was kind to her, and she couldn't just walk away like this. Vegito, when I help the professor solve Apocalypse, I will go find you. You must wait for me. Chin said silently in her heart. Vegito looked back at the little naughty boy who was looking at him hopefully. The next moment, he disappeared. Obviously, Vegito didn't want the trouble of taking the little naughty boy with him. He was not familiar with the little naughty boy, so why would he be willing to follow him for no reason? Vegito was at X Academy during this time. Liang Bing and Gwen also encountered some interesting things. 
Originally, Gwen, who followed Liang Bing out for shopping, was even ready to be humiliated by Liang Bing. But she didn't expect that Liang Bing really brought her to go shopping. I even bought a lot of things for her. Looking at Liang Bing's seemingly endless cards, Gwen once discovered a fatal flaw in herself. That is, poor. Looking at Liang Bing, she packed up all the clothes that she liked without even trying them on. Gwen began to doubt life again. She doesn't know that money is just a number to Liang Bing. What Gwen didn't expect the most was that while she was shopping with Liang Bing, she met two more ridiculously beautiful women. Since when did New York have so many beauties? Moreover, it looked like they were still here to find him. Little sister, are you willing to be an angel? A ridiculously beautiful woman with long blonde hair walked up to Gwen and asked. Angel, me. Gwen was confused. Could it be that he is another person who is as cold as ice, easy to see explode, but unfortunately his brain is not normal? Yes, little sister, are you willing? Become an angel, maintain the order of the universe, and dedicate your life to the harmony of the universe. The beautiful young lady continued. Ah, the kind-hearted Gwen couldn't bear to interrupt her directly. After all, mentally retarded people also need care, so she could only look at her with caring eyes. It looks like the disease is more serious than Liang Bing's. Could it be that people who grow too beautiful have abnormal brains? God is indeed balanced. Sister Yan, Sister Yan. People don't seem to believe us very much. Beside Yan, Ajwe gently interrupted Yan who was giving a speech. Ahem. Yan also noticed Gwen's caring eyes for the mentally retarded. He coughed twice to ease the embarrassment. Little sister, we have been observing you for many days. Almost every night. You go back to the Queen's District of New York City to do chivalry. Yan said again. Who are you? Gwen asked warily. She only told her brother Vegito about her identity as Spider Woman. He never said a word to anyone else, including his family. We, we are definitely Angel. Yan Li replied definitely. Angel, yes, after our observation during this period, you are kind, brave, strong, and just. You are qualified to become one of us. Angels are only female. In order to ensure that there are enough angels, angels will choose women who are kind and righteous enough among mortals to become angels. To fill the shoes of those angels who retired or died in battle. Definitely, the selection of angel is very demanding. However, after Yan's observation over the past few days, Gwen has almost all the excellent qualities that angel needs. It's just that he is too young, still a child, and needs to be tempered. Being an angel, why should I become an angel? Are there any benefits to becoming an angel? Gwen began to believe what the other person said. Could it be that he really met a living angel? No wonder it's so beautiful. Definitely, if you become an angel, you will become more powerful and have an unlimited lifespan. You will also be able to eradicate violence and bring peace to the good in the universe. Destroy evil and promote justice. Beside Yan, Ajwe said excitedly. Well, it does sound tempting. Gwen nodded. If Brother Vegito had not come back, Gwen would most likely choose to become Angel. But now, Gwen's biggest dream has become to stay with Brother Vegito for the rest of her life. To become stronger, all you need to do is protect Brother Vegito. There is no need to become stronger. Eternal life, what would you do with such a long life if you didn't have Brother Vegito by your side? As for going to the universe to do heroic things, it sounds very tempting. But doesn't that mean I have to leave Brother Vegito? Therefore, Gwen Cheng thought for a moment and still rejected Yan's proposal. Sorry, I don't want to be Angel. Gwen said to Yan. Oh, why? Yan was a little surprised. Very few people could resist the temptation of becoming an Angel. That's turning a human into a god. I have someone I like, and I want to stay with him for the rest of my life. Gwen answered truthfully. Oh, is that all? Yan was a little surprised. Can mortal love be like this? Yes, Gwen nodded again. She couldn't help but smile wistfully when she thought of Vegito. If that's the case, you don't have to worry. We can wait for you for a hundred years. After a hundred years, you will officially report to Merlot Heavenly Court. Yan said again, true love is worth angels compromise. No, without him, I really can't think of the use of my eternal life. Gwen shook her head and still rejected Yan. But, what if, Gwen's eyes lit up, as if she thought of something. It's impossible, Angel only accepts women. 
Looking at Gwen's eyes, Yan immediately realized what Gwen wanted to say. Okay, if that's the case, forget it. Gwen replied disappointedly. I originally thought that if I and brother Vegito both had eternal lifespans, wouldn't they be able to be together forever? At that time, even if brother Vegito was given up to Liang Bing for a hundred years. It's not unacceptable. No, a hundred years is too long. Let her stay with us for a hundred years at most and cook for brother Vegito and me for a hundred years. Now it seems that it is not possible. Obviously, Gwen didn't know that what she was thinking about at the moment was exactly Liang Bing's plan. Mortal life is limited after all, and only she can accompany Vegito forever. So Liang Bing never regarded Gwen as a rival. After all, the level difference is too far. Liang Bing's pursuit is Vegito's 10,000 or 1 million years from now on. And Gwen can currently think of a hundred years at most. Gwen, who are you chatting with? At this time, Liang Bing came out after picking out clothes. Almost instantly, Liang Bing saw through the true identities of Yan and Ah Zhui. Two little angels, how did angel appear on earth? Liang Bing thought with some confusion. In the past, she wouldn't have minded stumbling on Kesha's angel. But now, Liang Bing said she was not free. Okay, Gwen, let's go. No matter why Angel appeared on Earth, Liang Bing didn't want to have too much contact with them. Oh, okay, Sister Liang Bing. Gwen nodded and planned to leave with Liang Bing. Wait a minute, Yan said again to stop Gwen and Liang Bing who were about to leave. Originally, the moment he saw Liang Bing, Yan felt that this person looked inexplicably familiar. She has an aura about her, the kind of aura that Yan has only seen in Queen Kesha and Queen Hexi. Originally, Yan couldn't figure out why he felt inexplicably familiar. Your name is Liang Bing. Yan turned to Liang Bing and asked. Yes, what's the matter? Liang Bing said nonchalantly. Although Yan is now Kesha's left-wing bodyguard, he is not yet qualified for her to be looked down upon by the Demon Queen. Liang Bing didn't want to kill anyone in front of Gwen because he was afraid of not being able to explain it to Vegito. Not afraid of Yan. Shu, the flaming sword appeared directly in Angel Yan's hand, and the wings behind him also spread out. Now Yan has not brainwashed each other with Liang Bing, so how could he not know what the name Liang Bing means? Looking at the hostile Yan, Liang Bing narrowed his eyes. Sister Yan, Angel chased although he didn't understand why Sister Yan suddenly went all out. But he still showed his weapons immediately. He also spread his angel wings and flaming sword. Angel, oh, my god, there really is an angel. Looking at Yan and Ah Zhui flying in midair, others in the mall immediately exclaimed. It's really angel. Even Gwen was a little unbelievable. After all, hearing about it and seeing it were completely different things. No wonder they are so beautiful, it turns out they are really angels. Liang Bing, let's capture him without mercy. Angel Yan pointed the flaming sword in his hand at Liang Bing. Even though she knew clearly that she and Ah Zhui could not be Liang Bing's opponent, Angel's faith did not allow her to back down. Stop, seeing Angel in front of her wanting to attack Liang Bing, Gwen immediately protected Liang Bing behind her. In Gwen's impression, Liang Bing is just an ordinary person with good cooking skills and good looks. If something happens, she must protect Liang Bing. Gwen is willing to go all out to save even strangers she has never met, let alone Liang Bing, who she has been with for a while. Are you sure you want to stand in front of me? You are too weak now and are far from my opponent. Yan lowered his head and said to Gwen, No matter how kind she is, if she is bewitched by the devil, she will not hold back. Gwen could feel that the other party already knew that she was Spider Woman. Facing Yan, Gwen was like a person in front of God, feeling that there was no secret at all. At the same time, Gwen could also feel the strength of the other party. Yan in front of her seemed to be a real god. Gwen could never be her opponent. Yes, although she is indeed annoying, and even, she even competed with me for Brother Vegito, but I still have to protect her. This is my duty. Gwen stood in front of Liang Bing without hesitation. Get out of the way. You are kind and worthy of angel's protection. I don't want to do anything to you. With a wave of the flaming sword in his hand, a blast of fiery energy knocked Gwen away. Gwen thought that the other party was very powerful, but she didn't expect that she was powerless in front of angel. Yanang could tell that Gwen was very kind, so he just knocked her away. 
It didn't hurt her, but it might hurt for a while. Then, he looked at Morgana carefully. Even if it is impossible to win her, we must try our best to hurt her. Liang Bing, on the other hand, looked at Yan Yan unkindly and knocked the sister she approved of away in front of her. Do you really think that Liang Bing has a good temper? If it weren't for seeing that Yan didn't hurt Gwen, and Liang Bing also needed Gwen to leave temporarily. Liang Bing will not let Yan knock Gwen away. Morgana, let's capture her without mercy. Yan said to Liang Bing. Really, even Kesha didn't let me catch her without mercy. Why do you want to make me laugh until I have no strength and then capture her without mercy? Liang Bing said with great disdain. I was originally in a good mood today, so I could let these two little angels off. Since I don't know how to show appreciation, I can't blame her. You, Yan was also irritated. After asking Ah Chai beside him to inform the queen, he directly activated his thunder power with all his strength. Suddenly, there was lightning and thunder in the sky. The whole sky changed color. And Liang Bing also plans to teach this little angel a lesson. Who is she, Queen Liang Bing? Can I mess with you casually? Stop. Just when the two were about to take action, a figure rushed over quickly. He stood in front of Liang Bing again. This figure is none other than Spider Woman Gwen. Get out of the way, I don't want to hurt you. Gwen is kind, upright, and has a righteous heart. If it wasn't for Liang Bing, Yan would definitely like this little sister very much. No, no, looking at the thunder and lightning in the sky, Gwen still refused to give in. He stood in front of Liang Bing with a firm look on his face. Little sister, don't you want the person you love to stay with you forever? If you die, you will never have this relationship again. Yan persuaded Gwen again. Yes, I want to grow old together with brother Vegito, but I also have something I must do. I want to protect her. Gwen said still firmly. The thunder in front of him could kill him with just one blow, but Gwen still would not choose to give up Liang Bing and let himself live. Gee, Gwen, looking at Gwen standing in front of her, Liang Bing's mood was very complicated. It had been a long time since anyone had been willing to stand in front of her like Gwen, regardless of life or death. The person who was willing to risk his own life to stand in front of her last time seemed to be her sister, and that incident had already happened 30,000 years ago. Aren't you a kind and righteous angel? Why do you attack people for no reason? If your lightning strike were to be punished, do you know how many people would die? Gwen said to Angelian. For justice, it is worth making sacrifices. Even if it is myself, I will sacrifice without hesitation. Angel Yan replied. But I don't see your justice, I only see these innocent people. Gwen pointed at the people around the mall and said to Yan in the sky. As long as, Yan wanted to continue explaining something to Gwen, but was interrupted by Angel Chase beside him. Sister Yan, Queen Kesha asked us to withdraw first. She will come to Earth in person. Ah Jue said to Angel Yan. Yeah, Angelian nodded. Angelian will naturally carry out Queen Kesha's orders, but she is really unwilling to let a kind-hearted girl like Gwen fall into Morgana's hands. Little sister, I admire you very much. If you change your mind, please contact me. After saying that, Yan threw a spiritual stone into Gwen's hand, and then he and Angel turned into two streams of light and disappeared into the horizon. For Gwen's sake, I'll let you go this time. Liang Bing muttered to himself. Gwen, why are you willing to risk your life to save me? Liang Bing asked Gwen in confusion. HMPH, if it weren't for Brother Vegito's sake, I wouldn't care about you. Gwen replied arrogantly. You little girl, no wonder Vegito likes you so much. Liang Bing scolded with a smile, immediately making Gwen blush. Unknowingly, Liang Bing has completely regarded Gwen as her real person. Even the eyes he looked at Gwen softened a lot. If we say before, the relationship between Liang Bing and Gwen was entirely because of Vegito. Liang Bing just thinks Gwen is an interesting kid. But without Vegito, Liang Bing and even Gwen wouldn't even bother to take a look. So now, Liang Bing has fully recognized Gwen and completely regards Gwen as his sister. Gwen, from now on, you will be my sister. Liang Bing took Gwen's hand, said affectionately. If anyone dares to bully you, my sister will definitely not let him go. I don't want to be your sister, Gwen said with some disgust. If she really accepts Liang Bing as her sister, wouldn't she become a little girl when she meets brother Vegito in the future? 
How can that work? Even if they are all together with Brother Vegito, she, Gwen, still wants to be big. Ha ha. Liang Bing could definitely see Gwen's thoughts and smiled, not caring at all. Not far away, Natasha Romanoff was watching all this in horror. As a high-level agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., it was not easy to get rid of Vegito's mission. I originally thought that New York City was so harmonious, and there were many superheroes such as Spider-Woman. As long as Vegito and Liang Bing didn't cause trouble, they would be absolutely safe. But unexpectedly, as soon as he went out, he met someone who had information that he had met Angel. But she was still the closest to those people. E-M-M-M. In fact, from Thor's mouth, the Avengers also learned more or less about things in the universe. At least, she knew that Angel was righteous and was a mortal enemy of Morgana. As the saying goes, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. With the mentality of giving it a try, Natasha Romanoff came. Indeed, Natasha Romanoff saw Angel, but the situation was not at all what she thought. Looking at the lightning all over the sky, Natasha Romanoff even had some doubts. Thor, is Thor a fake Thor? It was even his hammer that made the thunder and lightning, not himself. After all, there is a record in S.H.I.E.L.D. Thor who lost his hammer was just an ordinary person. If Thor knew about it, he would definitely complain. That old angel is already 7,000 years old, and he is just a child over a thousand years old. The most terrifying thing was that the righteous angel kept mumbling about why he sacrificed for justice and why it was completely worth it. Natasha Romanoff's eyelids kept twitching when she heard this. Not to mention that if these thunderbolts really hit, most of the city of New York would be gone. The most important thing is that Natasha Romanoff is not the silly and sweet Gwen. She actually sees the look of death in the eyes of the angel who controls the thunder. Then, Natasha Romanoff saw Liang Bing again, the terrifying woman who Thor called the Demon Queen and threw X Academy into the Pacific Ocean. Immediately afterwards, Natasha Romanoff immediately realized what was going on. Although she didn't know what level those two beautiful angels in the sky were. But definitely not the King of Angels. Angel at this level encounters the Demon Queen, which is probably as difficult as her encountering the Hulk alone. Almost impossible to win. But looking at the flashing thunder in the sky, Natasha Romanoff realized that even if Angel were defeated, half of New York City would be destroyed. This is probably the legendary fight between gods and mortals will suffer. Why can she encounter these tasks every time? It's so hard. Fortunately, they didn't seem to be fighting. The two angels turned into two streams of light and disappeared. It seems that God has not given up on me. I am still lucky, Natasha Romanoff thought to herself. As for getting in touch with Morgana again, Natasha Romanoff asked herself if she didn't have the guts, whoever wanted to go would go. It was impossible for her to go anyway. As the angels left, Natasha Romanoff also fled her favorite shopping mall. It is also known as, reporting task. Sister Yan, what should we do now? Morgana is actually on the earth. From the horizon, Angel chased and asked Angel Yan. If the queen of the family comes in person, then we will guard Morgana on the earth. When the queen comes, it will be the end of Morgana. Well, Sister Yan, what should we do now? Ajwe asked Yan. There are still many local figures or forces on the earth. We can contact them to ensure that the earth is under a righteous order. Yes, Sister Yan. Dot 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 In X Academy, due to the death of Cyclops, the X-Men have no way to deal with Apocalypse. Chin, contact Shield. We need the help of the Avengers. In a desperate situation, Professor X had no choice but to seek help from the Avengers. Teacher, why don't you tell Vegito everything you know? If that's the case, we don't need to seek help from the Avengers at all. Chin asked with some confusion. Obviously, the professor was very kind to them, and would not even hide anything from them, but on this matter, the professor had always been tight-lipped. Chin, you don't understand. There are some things that I can never tell even if I die. Professor X shook his head. I'm heartbroken that Vegito has become like this, but I can't let him continue to make mistakes. But. Professor, Chin didn't understand what was wrong with revenge. Did Vegito deserve to be hurt? Okay, Chin, contact the Avengers. After Professor X finished speaking, he closed his eyes. Yes, 
Professor. Chin walked away disappointed. In the Avengers headquarters, a group of Avengers are discussing Angel's problem. By the way, Thor, do you know those two angels? Tony Stark asked Thor next to him with an excited look on his face. Except for Liang Bing, he has never seen such a beautiful woman. I definitely recognize him, don't you think so? Looking at Tony Stark's eyes shining, Thor seemed to understand something. Hey, Tony Stark smiled and gave a look that every man knew. The current Tony Stark is far from the Iron Man who is willing to sacrifice himself, and more of the playboy. Don't, don't, those angels look young, but they are actually old witches. Thor Thor advised. By the way, Thor, why do I always feel that angel is more like Thor than you? Rogers pointed at the thunder and lightning in the sky on the screen. He had seen Thor's discharge before, and it would only affect a small area of the sky at most, and he had to rely on his meow hammer. However, Yan suddenly mobilized the lightning over the entire United States. The difference can already be seen with the naked eye. Ah, for a moment, Thor didn't know how to reply to the captain, an honest man. Have you never heard of hitting someone without slapping them in the face, and scolding someone without exposing their shortcomings? That angel's name is Yan, and he is the left-wing guard of the Holy Kesha. People in the universe are called the Thunder God of War. And I am Thor of Asgard, and I am the eldest son of Odin and the future god King of Asgard. She is completely incomparable to me, right? Thor is proud, said coquettishly. So, which one of you is stronger? The United States captain continued to ask straightforwardly. Quote dot 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 quote. Thor looked at Rogers resentfully. That old woman is already 7,000 years old. I'm only over a thousand years old, okay. Thor felt that she had to do something to restore her dignity as a god. And, Thor lowered his voice a notch, deciding to slander Ichiban Yan and raise his own worth. After all, we are all our own people here. It shouldn't be a problem to brag. And what? A female voice came from behind Thor. But Thor didn't care. It is rumored that Angel Yan is an old witch who likes to seduce men. Thor whispered to the companions around him, fearing that others would hear him if his voice was louder. Also, she has a particularly bad temper and gets violent whenever she disagrees. It's a typical example of endocrine disorders. Thor said minding his own business. He didn't notice at all that Tony was giving him winks. Tony, what's wrong? Are your eyes uncomfortable? Thor has never been very smart, otherwise he wouldn't be fooled by his brother again and again. Is there something behind me? Thor finally reacted. Then, she turned around and saw Angelian sitting on a chair behind her, with Angel chasing behind her. Quote dot 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 quote. Thor's eyelids began to twitch. Go on, kid, I'd like to hear how you describe me. Angelian raised his chin slightly and said softly to Thor. As if on the eve of a storm. Ha ha, how could it be? How could I slander you? May Asgard and Angel's friendship last forever. Thor forced himself to calm down picked up a bottle of wine next to him, and stuffed it into his mouth. Why can he meet the right person even if he plays well as an NPC? His luck is so bad. Oh, I wish I didn't say you were slandering me. Could it be that you were slandering me just now? Angelian said teasingly again. Ahem. Thor coughed up all the wine he had just drank. Okay, the teasing is over. I need to find a person or god who can represent the earth. I need to talk to him about something. Yan said straightforwardly. I really can't think of anything, why are you looking for the leader of the earth? Tell him face to face, surrender or die. Tihan and Thor felt as if he had been tricked just now, and now he definitely wanted to get his place back. After all, he, Thor Thor, is a showman. Ha, if it's true as you said, I can directly modify your subconscious right now and make you surrender to Angel and believe in Angel. But I didn't do that, right? Yan said provocatively, but it is undeniable that what she said it's the truth. Then what is your purpose? Rogers, the captain of the United States, asked Angelian. Oh, can you represent the entire Earth? Yan shook his head and did not want to talk to the captain of the United States. Even if he is stronger than an ordinary person, he is still just a mortal. No one can represent the Earth. The Earth belongs to all humans. Rogers immediately retorted. If you are just looking for a person who can represent human attitudes, I think I can do it. If you are looking for a god who can represent the earth, I don't think you can find one. 
because the earth has no god even if there is he can't representing the entire planet rogers said righteously kid you are very naive but because of your courage i will give you a chance to talk to me yan smiled and said to rogers the reason why god can represent a civilization has never been because the entire civilization is united except for angel demons there are few civilizations in the universe that can unite as one god on the other hand represents the highest combat power of a civilization and is also the absolute master of the civilization he has this absolute power to control the civilization under his command i need to know why you came to earth and what do you want to do on earth rogers asked angelian children you are in trouble earth yan said to all the avengers the earth is suddenly exposed to the major forces in the universe we angel must ensure that the earth is under the rule of justice angel yan said clearly we are definitely on the side of justice rogers replied immediately but was interrupted by thor thor beside him ahem ahem captain what they mean by justice may be different from what you understand thor reminded in a low voice so we want to know what is justice and what is evil when you angel see it tony stark asked angel yan standing behind the captain of the united states the so-called justice means that 17,000 years ago, Queen Kesha took charge of the celestial city and customized a very reasonable set of laws for the orderly progress of the known universe. We call it, the Order of Justice. Angel Yan's death angel Ah Chai explained to them. Oh, it sounds nice, but in fact it's just a rule made and decided by Holy Kesha alone. Thor once again broke down the trouble. We don't know what Angel's justice is, but if you mean justice by hoeing the strong and supporting the weak, protecting the people, and protecting the earth, then I think we are justice. The captain of the United States once again used his speech skills. Oh, really? Then let me see your justice. Angelian said with interest that the word justice has been spread in the universe for tens of thousands of years. On earth, it is only a few thousand years at most. For Yan, the justice the captain of the United States just said was just justice from a mortal perspective. True justice is the order for which countless angels have sacrificed their lives for more than 10,000 years. It is an order viewed from the perspective of the entire universe. Captain, Professor Arrive, the first mutant in history. Okay, Avengers, assemble and let the angels see the justice that belongs to us. The captain of the United States stood up and said inspiringly. The X-Men are really on their last legs. We Avengers are the most powerful group of heroes on Earth. Tony Stark said proudly. Ha ha, that's for sure. After all, there is a god like me among the Avengers. When Angel Yan was angry, Thor decided to find a few mortals to vent his anger. So what if it's the first mutant in history? Thor didn't think he could defeat a mortal. You can all cheer for me from behind in a while. I want to tell that guy named Apocalypse what the real god is he said in a very inflated voice. He has even thought about how to show off his skills in front of these teammates and how to let these unsophisticated mortals see what the real Thor is, the eldest son of Odin. The author has been making corrections these days. Didn't everyone discover that the author arranged for various cosmic forces and gods to come to the earth? A god would not deliberately reveal his identity in front of mortals, not because he wants to pretend to be a pig but because he is disdainful. But when all the gods came to the earth, it was time for the author's arrangement to be exposed. Professor. Although Professor X and Magneto have been old enemies for many years, they are also the most trusted friends. Eric. Don't make any more mistakes. Come back. Mutant needs you. Because Magneto wears a helmet that can block all mental abilities, Professor X can only control passers-by to talk to Magneto. Eric. We once said, don't abandon, don't give up. As long as we unite as one, we will be able to overcome all difficulties. Charles persuaded him earnestly. Yes, so that was in the past. Now, I just want revenge and make those humans pay the price. At this moment, Magneto was completely blinded by hatred. He once listened to Professor. However, not long ago, he used his ability to save a worker at a steel factory. However, it resulted in both his daughter and wife being killed. Eric. Professor, interesting ability, Apocalypse couldn't help but sigh. I have seen countless abilities, but I have never seen an ability that can make me ubiquitous. The next moment, Professor X felt that Apocalypse appeared in his inner world. 
Moreover, Apocalypse's soul is several times stronger than his own. It just so happened that Apocalypse's body was already very old, so Apocalypse made a prompt decision to seize Professor X's ability. Because it is in Professor X's spiritual world, Professor X can clearly feel Apocalypse's thoughts and soul. He is truly a person who has no good feelings towards human beings. In the eyes of Apocalypse, if humans cannot be enslaved, then there is no need for existence. No, no, Professor X desperately expelled Apocalypse from his inner world. If his ability is really obtained by an evil mutant like Apocalypse, the Earth will definitely fall into an unprecedented panic. Chin, chin, let's get out of here immediately, Professor X shouted. It's useless, no matter where you escape, I can find you. You can't escape, Apocalypse said to Professor X nonchalantly. As long as he is still in Professor X's mental space, Professor X will not be able to escape his tracking. Chin, let's get out of here quickly. Apocalypse is coming soon. Let's go find the Avengers. Professor X said in a panic. He knew very well that with the current X Academy, it was almost impossible to compete with Apocalypse and his four horsemen of Apocalypse. Hey, if you are going to find the Avengers, there is no need to go. Because the strongest Avengers have already arrived. Thor spun his meow hammer and fell from the sky. When Thor said that he wanted to take down Apocalypse alone, he was immediately rejected by the Avengers. In their view, mutants are just ordinary people who are better than ordinary people. In fact, this is mostly true for mutants. Even though the X-Men are stronger than those mutants, they are completely incomparable to their Avengers. In this case, how can Thor be allowed to take the limelight by himself? However, Thor said it didn't matter. In terms of speed, there were really few Avengers who could match her. While those people were making airplanes, Thor had already arrived first. Thor believes that the Avengers are the most powerful superhero organization on Earth. And he, Thor, is the most powerful being in the Avengers. Dealing with a small mutant ancestor is not something that can be easily captured. Moreover, the key is that Thor does not think that there can be any threat to him on the Earth of Midgard, except Hulk. That's the ancestor of mutant. Are you really sure? Chin looked at Thor in front of her. She looked like a reckless man no matter what. Aha, the person standing in front of you is a true god. Worship him, mortal, Thor said arrogantly. Little did he know that what was in front of him was the phoenix force that even his father was afraid of. Ah, okay then, Chin said helplessly. It wasn't because she had confidence in Thor, but because a purple portal had appeared in front of them. Let me show you what Thor is, Thor said arrogantly, taking out the Mjolnir in his hand and throwing it at Apocalypse and his group who had just walked out of the portal. Ha, huh. as soon as Apocalypse walked out of his portal, he saw a meow hammer coming towards him. Subconsciously, Apocalypse raised his hand to grab meow hammer. As a result, huge amounts of thunder surged out, and Apocalypse immediately recognized the hammer in his hand. But one arm was still shocked beyond recognition by lightning. Aha, mortals are mere mortals. There is no way he can be a match for Thor. Who is he? Thor Thor of Asgard, the eldest son of Odin, the future god king of Asgard. It didn't take long for Apocalypse's injured arm to recover from the electric shock. Indeed, that blow had hurt Apocalypse. Apocalypse looked at the hammer on the ground with interest. He reached out and grabbed the handle of the hammer, trying to pick it up. Ha, Thor smiled contemptuously. There was no way Apocalypse could afford his Mjolnir. In fact it is. Come on, Apocalypse said to Magneto behind him. No need to try, it's impossible for a mortal to be able to hold my Mjolnir. Thor said very proudly. Mjolnir has Odin's curse on it, and only those who are alive and recognized can pick it up. He can also master the power of thunder. However, then something happened that made Thor unbelievable. Magneto just stretched out his hand, and Mjolnir easily flew into Magneto's hand. This follows the original Marvel work, Mjolnir also belongs to metal. Magneto can indeed control Mjolnir with magnetism, but he cannot use the power of thunder. How is this possible, Mjolnir? How is it possible for a mortal to hold my Mjolnir? Thor was immediately frightened and wanted to snatch his hammer back. He stretched out his hand to bring Mjolnir back, but found that Mjolnir in Magneto's hand was completely motionless. In desperation, Thor rushed over and snatched the hammer back from Magneto's hand. However, 
Thor without a hammer is too weak in Apocalypse's opinion. Apocalypse easily caught the charging Thor and easily knocked Thor into the air. Yellow sand rose up and drowned Thor. After a moment, only Thor's head was still sticking out of the sand. It seems that you are very weak without a hammer. God of hammers, Apocalypse's words were not joking at all. In Apocalypse's opinion, Thor with a hammer and Thor without a hammer are two completely different levels, so they should be called the God of Hammers. Even if it is said that the hammer is the real body, Apocalypse will not believe it without hesitation. Mortal, Ant, give me back my Mjolnir. Thor said still harshly. Ant, you've offended me. Apocalypse's fist as big as a casserole hit Thor's face mercilessly. Ah, you dare to blaspheme the gods, you will definitely be punished. Thor shouted in pain while still speaking uncompromisingly. I knew this guy wasn't that reliable. Chin said silently, covering her forehead. It didn't take more than a minute from the time Thor appeared until he was hung up with sand and beaten, really hung up by Apocalypse. However, no matter how stupid this Thor is, he is still her teammate at this moment, right? So, Jean decided to help him. Professor, a wave of psychokinesis hit Magneto and Magneto was caught off guard and subconsciously picked up the hammer in his hand to block it. Clang, there was a loud noise, and the hammer in Magneto's hand was smashed out. Go on, Jin shouted to Thor loudly, then controlled psychokinesis to return the hammer to Thor. Ha ha, Mjolnir, although Thor was beaten black and blue by Apocalypse, if he could get Mjolnir back, he would have a chance to make a comeback. Sure enough, Thor with the hammer and Thor without the hammer are completely two different people at this stage. Mjolnir was swung around quickly in his hand, and all the yellow sand clinging to Thor was scattered. Mortal, you dare to blaspheme the gods, then suffer death. Thor shouted loudly. In a thousand years, he had never fought such a frustrating battle. Now even my face is swollen from apocalypse. How could he not take revenge? Picking up Mjolnir in his hand, Thor used his full strength and fought with Apocalypse. Then, Thor realized that things were not as simple as he thought. The Apocalypse in front of him is not only not weak, it can even be said to be very strong, not even weaker than him holding Mjolnir. Thor would never know that while Apocalypse was fighting him, he was distracted fighting Professor X. And Apocalypse also realized that the Hammer God in front of him seemed to be stronger than imagined. There is no big problem in calling him God. However, although he admitted that Thor had some strength, Apocalypse did not think that he would lose. Normally, Apocalypse wouldn't mind playing with the Hammer God for a while. But now, he has more important things to do. That is, plundering Professor X's ability. Eric, Apocalypse exited the battle and shouted to Magneto behind him. Yes, Magneto stood up again and started to use super ability on Mjolnir. As Magneto's ability activated, Thor once again felt as if his hammer was starting to lose control. My hammer, Mjolnir, Thor was immediately startled. This time, no matter what, she couldn't give up her hammer. Thor held his hammer tightly. Just don't let go. In that case, just fly for a while. After apocalypse strengthening, Magneto can easily manipulate the metal of a city, while Thor, obviously, is not that heavy. Magneto easily controls Mjolnir and Thor flying around in the sky. Stop it, Mjolnir, Thor finally understood why that man could easily pick up his Mjolnir. Eric, send him away, we have more important things to do. Apocalypse ordered Magneto. If he just wanted to defeat Thor completely, he could do it himself, it just took a lot of effort. Let Magneto take action just to save time. Yes, Magneto is one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse after all. Because he carries hatred, he will naturally not show mercy to Thor. Ah, Mjolnir flew away with Thor. But even so, Thor did not let go of his hammer. Um, looking at Thor flying away, Chin realized again that this Avengers didn't seem so reliable. Now it seems like I can only rely on her again. Psychokinesis loomed in her hand, and Chin protected Professor X behind her. The professor was kind to her, and no matter how powerful her opponent was, Chin would never give up on Professor X. It's just that I may never see Vegito again, Chin thought sadly. Then he looked at Apocalypse and his group with stern eyes. Phoenix Force is ready to move. What kind of power is this? Apocalypse felt the threat from the power in Chin's body. However, Apocalypse does not lack powerful ability. Compared with powerful ability, 
He obviously wants spiritual ability more at this moment. The power that Chin revealed was indeed very powerful, so powerful that it moved his heart. If Professor, children, get out of the way, I will lead the mutants to rule the world, and you are all my children. Apocalypse walked towards Chin step by step and said seductively, Child, you have great potential. Join us and you will become my Apocalypse Knight. Apocalypse extended his hand to Chin. Chin does not have a deep bond with ordinary people like Professor X. But she knew she wanted to side with the professor. For Chin, she only has two important people in this world. Professor X, who taught her when she was young. Vegito, the friend she decided to spend her life with. I originally planned to go find Vegito after repaying Professor X's kindness. Now it seems that I am afraid that I will not have that chance. Ma'am, it looks like you need help. Just when Chin fell into despair, Iron Man made a 360-degree turn from the air and landed in a very angry manner. Landed next to Chin. Now, your crisis is over, because I'm here. Tony Stark said very proudly. Showing his charm in front of beautiful women has always been his strength. Quote dot 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 quote. Originally, when she heard that reinforcements were coming, Chin instantly had hope again. However, when she saw the Iron Warrior in front of her wearing steel armor, Chin knew that another oil bottle was coming. Plus, those words seemed familiar to me not long ago. Jean completely lost faith in Iron Man. You, Chin Chin didn't know how to remind him without hurting the arrogant middle-aged uncle in front of him. Are you the only one? Chin asked tentatively, definitely, but Thor came one step before me, what? Didn't he come? Tony Stark began to look around. No trace of Thor was found. But it doesn't matter, let's see how Iron Man can help you lady. Tony Stark said angrily again, and then started to prepare for action. We'd better wait for your partner to arrive before taking action. Chin immediately stopped Tony Stark. You wear a suit of steel armor to trouble Magneto, isn't that a gift? Jean said it was too difficult for her. Who are the Avengers? The current Iron Man has not yet evolved his steel armor into nano armor, and is essentially still made of relatively hard metal. Oh, okay then. Tony Stark thinks that he is an intelligent person among the Avengers. He can do things like charge into battle, but it is not necessary. After all, we have to leave some sense of presence for the other Avengers. What's more, Tony Stark will definitely give this beautiful lady a face first, and then defeat her like a god descending to earth. It will definitely leave an indelible impression on the beautiful lady in front of you. Chapter 51 Mortals, get out of the way. You are not allowed to interfere here. In Apocalypse's view, ordinary people only have the power to become slaves, and naturally they will not treat his fellow mutants as kindly. Ah, I'm the strongest superhero on earth, Iron Man. Tony Stark said arrogantly while posing. Fortunately, at this stage, Tony Stark's steel battle suit is not much faster than the Avengers' fighter jets. So, during the conversation, the Avengers' fighter finally arrived. Chin looked at the people coming off the plane, looking for a reliable teammate. A tight-fitting muscular man holding a shield, with the shield as his main weapon, not to mention the steel, the only bright spots on his body are the United States flag and his small buttocks. Pass. Dressed in the style of the Matrix, holding a bow and arrow, and carrying various high-tech bows and arrows on his back. It may seem strong, but Jean can actually feel with her psychokinesis. Magneto's arsenal has arrived. The next one didn't have any metal material on him, and he didn't even have any weapons on him. It looks like he is a cultural person. But that wretched smile on his face really made it difficult for Chin to have confidence in him. And the last one, seems to be a heroine. She looked dashing and heroic, with the air of a heroine. Subconsciously, Chin regarded Natasha Romanoff as the strong one among the Avengers, or the one who looked most reliable. All right, Avengers, assemble. Tony Stark shouted immediately in order to show off in front of the beautiful woman. Quote dot 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 quote. In normal times, these slogans would have been shouted by the captain. But the moment they saw Chin, Everyone in the Avengers Alliance understood why Tony Stark was so active today. After all, Iron Man is a playboy, not only within the Avengers Alliance, but also the entire United States knows this. By the way, where is Thor? At the moment, Natasha Romanoff noticed that Thor, who was supposed to be the fastest, was now missing. 
he couldn't help but ask cautiously. I don't know, he must have gotten lost. We don't have to wait for him. Iron Man couldn't wait to show off his skills. Let me fire the first arrow of the battle. Marksman Hawkeye Barton took out an explosive arrow from behind and fired it at Apocalypse and his group. Wait a minute, Chin stopped her immediately, but she was still a step too slow. All the Avengers were ready to fire, and the captain of the United States followed closely and threw his shield at Apocalypse. Even Iron Man, who is usually cautious, rushed forward without hesitation. Quick victory, Apocalypse said to Magneto beside him. Quote dot 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 quote. Faced with Zhang Jin's good gay friend, Magneto, the scene person, originally wanted to give some slack. But the Avengers in front of him didn't give him this chance at all. Crazy giving away heads. He, Magneto, is a showman after all. Wouldn't it be a bit unreasonable to not take the heads given away? Bang, bang, boom, the captain of the United States shield accurately hit Iron Man's crotch, and then Hawkeye's explosive arrow accurately hit Iron Man's anus, and a burst of huge amounts of explosions sounded. The impact of the explosion blew Iron Man to the ground. You. Dot you guys. Iron Man climbed up from the ground in disgrace. He pointed at his teammates behind him and shouted. Those few blows just now were definitely not uncomfortable even if Tony Stark had steel armor to absorb the shock. Even Hawkeye and the captain of the United States looked at each other. The moment the weapon was released, the captain of the United States felt that the trajectory seemed to be different from the one he had calculated, and Hawkeye could even clearly see the arrow he shot turning. But Tony at the moment obviously didn't realize the reason for all this. In his opinion, a perfect moment of flirting with girls was ruined by two pig teammates behind his back. Tony, come back first, they have something weird. The captain of the United States immediately shouted to Tony Stark. Immediately afterwards, Tony Stark's steel armor began to disintegrate on its own in front of everyone in the Avengers Alliance. It turned into a pile of scrap metal and was piled in front of everyone in the Avengers Alliance. This. Dot how is this possible? Although Stark is a playboy, he has absolute confidence in the steel armor he made. But now, the armor he was so proud of had become scrap metal in front of him. How could he accept this? Without the protection of the steel armor, Tony Stark is just an ordinary person. In terms of skill alone, Natasha Romanoff can beat him. Therefore, Tony Stark, who lost the protection of his armor, immediately ran behind his teammates, hoping to be protected by them. Warren Kenneth Worthington III originally had a pair of Snow White wings, and his mutant title was Angel. After being transformed by Apocalypse, his wings turned into steel wings, and he called himself Angel. After seeing Stark escaping, Worthington III naturally would not miss this opportunity. He spread his wings behind him and flew towards Stark. Be careful, the captain of the United States immediately rushed to support. The strong vibranium shield blocked Worthington III's steel wings. And then brought Tony Stark back. Oh, thank you, my old man. Tony Stark breathed out a long breath said the one who narrowly escaped death. By the way, why did my steel armor decompose on its own? I'm sure it's not a quality problem when I made it. Tony Stark asked in confusion. His invincible steel armor actually became so vulnerable here. This was hard for him to accept. Be careful, Magneto's ability is to control all metal substances. Chin stood up and explained to the Avengers and the others. Iron Man rushed too fast just now, leaving him no chance to explain. Ha ha, the strongest Avenger is back. At this time, Thor's arrogant voice came again. However, this time he did not fly out with a hammer, but ran out. Thor, where is your hammer? Dr. Banna asked Thor Thor doubtfully. You know, Thor's hammer is always with him and will never fall down for a moment. Since they arrived late, they didn't know what happened after Thor arrived. He would never have known that Thor almost lost his beloved hammer. Ahem. I left it at home and forgot it, Thor said awkwardly. In fact, he just flew out of Magneto's magnetic control with the hammer, the hammer carried him. After the meal, Thor hid his beloved Meowth hammer. Adhering to the principle that Asgard warriors never retreat, they ran back step by step. Then why are you bruised and swollen? Quote dot 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 quote. Thor, didn't you just come here with the hammer? Why did you put the hammer away again? Someone asked Thor again. Quote dot 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 quote. Don't you know that people are tough and tough? Even if you are a god, 
you can't deny me face like this. Thor's face gradually turned ugly. Since we Avengers have all expired, let's go. Thor forcibly changed the subject. But how much of your strength can you show without a hammer? Hawkeye obviously didn't have much confidence in Thor. I will lead the charge. Thor roared and charged forward. Halfway through, he found to his embarrassment that none of his teammates were following him. Why, aren't you going to do it? Thor stopped. He had not forgotten how he got wet on his face just now. Naturally, one would not rush forward stupidly alone. The reason why I rushed so fast just now was just to divert everyone's attention. After all, it is well known that Asgardians are the most honorable people. Let's not talk about how I am an archer, and my arrows are all made of metal. Hawkeye explained to Thor. My steel armor has been broken down into scrap metal, and I am just an ordinary person now. Tony Stark pointed at a pile of scrap metal not far away and said to Thor Thor. Thor took a closer look and saw that it really was Tony Stark's steel armor. Moreover, there seems to be an arrow hole in the chrysanthemum. Thor, although I want to help you, wearing a shield will only drag you down. The captain of the United States said helplessly. How about I come with you? Dr. Banner asked tentatively. Ha ha, I knew you were the best brother. Thor laughed and patted Dr. Banner on the shoulder. He gestured to Dr. Banner to go first and he would come to the rear. Quote dot 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 quote. Don't worry about who will die first, none of you can escape. Apocalypse said with a ferocious expression. A group of mortals who overestimate their abilities dare to bark in front of his mutant ancestor. Arrows flew out of the quiver behind Hawkeye. Floating in front of everyone in the Avengers, he looked tense. As long as Magneto waved his hand, thousands of arrows were fired immediately. Oh, what should we do now? Tony Stark asked as he consciously ran to Dr. Banner. He looked like he was about to hug his thighs. Without steel armor, he would never be able to resist these arrows with his body. Now he is definitely the weakest member in the Avengers Alliance. You must find a strong person to hold your thigh. Hulk, hurry, we can only rely on you now. Thor shouted loudly to Dr. Banner. Hulk, with a roar, Dr. Banner began to grow bigger, greener, and stronger. After the transformed Hulk roared angrily, he directly started firing arrows floating in the sky. No, those are explosive arrows, Hawkeye reminded immediately. However, Hulk obviously won't care so much at this time. Boom, boom, the explosion of arrows caused a chain reaction. The Avengers were blown to ashes, the captain of the United States used his shield to protect Hawkeye in time, Hulk Hulk immediately protected Natasha Romanoff, and Tony Stark consciously hid under Hulk's crotch. Roar, Hulk let out a roar of huge amounts of rage. He rushed straight towards Apocalypse. Magneto tried to block Hulk's way with steel, but ordinary steel obviously couldn't stand Hulk. The steel along the way was either shot away by Hulk or broken into two pieces by Hulk. Phew. Fortunately we still have Hulk, Tony Stark said with a breath. Yes, the other Avengers nodded in agreement. They haven't seen Hulk lose for so long. Even Thor is no match for Hulk without a hammer. Among the clouds in the sky, Angel Yan and Angel Akai are sitting there. Sister Yan, do you think they can win? Angel chased Angel Yan and asked. Yan did not answer immediately, but instead frowned, then stretched out his hand and used a flying steel bar. This steel bar was exactly what Magneto used to stop Hulk, but was slapped away by Hulk. What a great strength, Yan couldn't help but sigh. They were already at high altitude, but when Yan Yan caught the steel bar just now, they could still feel the terrifying power above. I'm afraid this kind of power can reach the level of a third generation divine body. Angel said in surprise. It looks like an ugly monster, but it has so much strength. If that green monster really has the power of a third generation divine body, then this battle won't be suspenseful. Angel continued. No, strength does not equal strength. Yan retorted. You know, the reason why humans can inform the earth has never been through strength. And Yan has already seen that although the green monster is very powerful, its intelligence seems to be that of a three-year-old child. Even if a three-year-old child is holding a weapon, how can he be an opponent of an adult? If you are an ordinary weak person, you will naturally have no choice when facing Hulk and can only be crushed by Hulk. However, if you encounter an opponent of the same level, even if you cannot compare with Hulk in terms of strength, 
it is still very simple to restrict Hulk. As Apocalypse took action, layers of yellow sand completely surrounded Hulk. Storm Girl also took action, summoning lightning to strike Hulk one after another. Who, who, Hulk was completely irritated, but there was nothing he could do about the sand blocking his eyes. What kind of monster is this? Can't it be killed by lightning? Storm Girl shouted in surprise. She actually saw that the lightning, which was enough to blast through a mountain, did not cause any fatal injuries to Hulk. Roar, the field of vision was completely blocked by the sand, and Hulk could not get close to Apocalypse at all. What a perfect body, what a pity. Apocalypse sighed. Hulk's invincible strength and defense captivated him. It's a pity that the power Apocalypse wants most now is still Professor X's psychic power. As long as you have psychic ability, coupled with his strengthening, you can easily control the life and death of all ordinary people. When the time comes, Apocalypse can easily build an empire of his own again. Show our power to the world. Apocalypse raised his hands, and a pyramids rose from the ground following Apocalypse's gesture. He plans to plunder Professor X's body here. At this moment, Apocalypse has a winning chance. Hulk is completely fooled by him and cannot pose any threat at all. The remaining Avengers can be easily solved by leaving them to the four horsemen of Apocalypse. There was no need for him to take action himself. Deal with them. Apocalypse gave the order, and the four knights took action one after another. Under the influence of Magneto, the Avengers were like a tiger with its teeth pulled out, losing most of its weapons. The captain of the United States fought with Psylocke, but the captain without a shield could only be pressed by Psylocke step by step, constantly ducking backwards. Others are no better. Although Natasha Romanoff and Clinton are experienced agents, they still seem a little helpless when facing super abilities. As for Tony Stark, without the steel armor, his skills are not even as good as ordinary people. The only effective combat forces on the field now are Chin, Thor and the captain of the United States. Children, is this how you protect the Earth? Angel Yan fell from the sky and said to everyone in the Avengers Alliance with a face full of ridicule. Angel, the beautiful angel fell from the sky, and the Avengers seemed to see a savior. They didn't remember that not long ago, they rejected Angel's kindness, saying that they wanted to protect the Earth on their own. Please help us. Stark immediately asked Yan for help. At this moment, Yan seemed to be in despair in his eyes. The beautiful angel fell from the sky and gave him hope again. Although Yan was originally angel, even Apocalypse felt that the two angels in front of him didn't seem to be simple. He looked at Angel Yan and Angel Azu carefully. Beautiful lady, but Worthington III, who calls herself Angel, didn't notice this at all. Looking at Angel's beautiful face, he seemed to have met the love of his life. He vowed to get these two beautiful angels. We must occupy them at all costs. As for the origins of Yan and Chai, Worthington III didn't think much about it at all. In his opinion, Angel Yan and Angel Azu are just mutants like him. And he was before being transformed by Apocalypse. The pair of snow white wings behind him serve no purpose other than flight. As for Worthington III, he definitely believed that Yan Azu was a mutant like him. Beautiful lady, will you marry me? Worthington III flew in front of Yan and Ajwe without any hesitation. Put away your dirty thoughts, you can't blaspheme Angel. Yan replied unceremoniously. Yes, beautiful Miss Angel, you are both angels, and I am the head angel. We are a perfect match. Worthington III said persistently as his sperm reached his head. While showing off the steel wings behind him, he seemed to be showing his power to Angelian. He didn't notice that Angel Yan's face was getting ugly. Pissed, Angel, Angel couldn't help laughing. To put it bluntly, the mutant in front of me who calls himself Angel. Although it has a pair of steel wings. But let alone Angel Yan, Angel Chai can easily defeat him. He even dares to overestimate his ability and call himself an angel. It is a death penalty for a mortal to blaspheme Angel. Angel Yan was completely angered. It seems that you are planning to give up the toast and be fined. Worthington III's face also darkened. Since the other party is unwilling to cooperate, he has no choice but to use force. Although it might be less fun, he was bound to get these two angels. Worthington III, spread your steel wings. Without any hesitation, he drew his wings towards Angel Yan and Angel Chase. If this happens, it will be enough to prevent them from flying again. However, 
Worthington III doesn't care about this. In his opinion, it was better not to be able to fly, so that he could be the canary in his cage. HMPH, Angel Yan snorted disdainfully, not to mention her third-generation divine body, even Ajwi's angel's body cannot be shaken by steel alone. Worthington III's move is tantamount to an egg hitting a rock. If there is no god-killing weapon, it's nearly impossible for a mortal to hurt Angel. From Angelian's point of view, the man in front of me who calls himself Angel is obviously immortal. Boom, it should have been the collision of steel against wings, but it made a violent sound similar to the collision of steel. Ah, Worthington III screamed. At that moment, his steel wings were suddenly broken. How is this possible? Worthington III said in disbelief. You must know that his steel wings can easily cut through a tank. But now it was easily broken by two seemingly beautiful angels. Gulu, the Avengers watching the battle below couldn't help but swallow. They knew Angel was strong, but they didn't expect Angel to be so strong. With such an impact, even if the captain of the United States used a vibranium shield, he was not sure he could fully absorb it. However, such power was not taken seriously by the two angels at all. It's hard to imagine how strong they can be. Are you worthy of being called Chief Angel? Angel Yan said with great disdain. At Worthington III's level, she felt ashamed to be called an angel. He even dares to call himself the angel field manager. He is simply overestimating his abilities. Thor, are you sure you are the same level of God as them? Tony Stark asked Thor Thor beside him. After all, based on the displayed fighting prowess, not only Angel Yan, but also Angel, the follower beside him, could outstrip Thor by a wide margin. Ha, Angel Yan is an old monster who has lived for 7,000 years. It's normal that I can't beat her. As for the follower next to her, I'm not bragging. I can beat three of hers alone. Thor stood up, said forcefully. People in Asgard have the best reputation. Thor is the prince of Asgard and the son of Odin. It's better to just be the left-wing guard of Holy Kesha, if not even a random angel follower. Then he would really be embarrassed throughout the universe. So Thor will naturally not admit that he is not as good as Angel in chasing, and he will definitely not think that he is not as good as Angel in chasing. Ajwe, teach that arrogant man who blasphemed Angel a lesson. Angel Yan ordered to Angel Jue behind him. Yes, I obey. Angel flapped his wings and rushed towards Worthington III. Quick, very fast. It's almost to the point where it's hard for everyone in the Avengers to see clearly. The next moment, Worthington III was knocked away. What follows is a thunderous blow. The speed is so fast, let alone Worthington III who is being beaten. The Avengers Alliance people watching below couldn't catch Angel's pursuit at all. Go help him. Apocalypse ordered the three knights of Apocalypse beside him. Yes, Magneto and Storm Girl immediately floated up. Even Psylocke used his mental ability to transform into a pair of butterfly wings behind his back. As Magneto took action, Angel felt a tugging force, fighting for the flaming sword in his hand. Angel frowned and took back the flaming sword in his hand into his own miniature wormhole space. Storm Girl also took action at the same time, and the whole sky instantly thundered with lightning. Hiss. The Avengers couldn't help but gasped. This is the real fight between gods. Compared with them, we are just playing children's house. Natasha Romanoff couldn't help but sigh. In Avengers, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Iron Man are just ordinary people. Even Captain America just has a physique far beyond the limits of ordinary people. The only truly powerful people are Hulk and Thor. It's a pity that Thor has always been unreliable, and Hulk is very easy to target because of his IQ. Indeed, the combat power displayed by Angel and Chai was completely different from theirs. Not only Angel Chai, but also the Four Knights of Apocalypse also showed amazing destructive power. If it hadn't been for Angel's help today, I'm afraid the Avengers would have collapsed here. In the sky, Angel Chase and the Four Knights of Apocalypse have already started a battle. Even without the flaming sword, Angel Chase can still deal with it with ease. Angel was chasing so fast that even Storm Girl's lightning couldn't lock onto him, let alone anyone else. Not long after, except for Magneto, who was transplanted and used a magnetic field to protect himself, the other three knights were chased and defeated by Angel. But even if Magneto can use the magnetic field to temporarily protect himself. But he himself has nothing to do with the pursuit of Angel's soul. 
Sister Yan, the target is too powerful to request a sky blade judgment. Without the flaming sword, Angel would not be able to break through Magneto's magnetic shield in a short period of time. I allow it, Angelian said casually. By the way, take care of that blue-skinned monster over there. Angelian continued to add. Yes, Sister Yan. Angel flapped his wings and started to fly into the sky. After flying high into the sky, Angel Chase was completely out of Magneto's magnetic control. The Sky Blade Judgment is ready. Execute the Sky Blade Judgment. The flaming sword appeared again in Angel Chase's hand. Extract the sun's energy. Angel picked up the flaming sword with both hands and raised it above his head. Red flames burned on the flaming sword. As Angel waved his hands, a blazing red light pillar broke through the sky and shot towards the earth from space. A beam of energy capable of destroying a large city was shot towards the earth. These angels are not restless at all. Liang Bing stood at the balcony window of Vegito's home in New York City and murmured to himself as he looked at the blazing red light outside the window. As Angel chases the sky blade judgment, the temperature across the Western Hemisphere rises by at least 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. And Apocalypse, who faces the Sky Blade Judgment, can better understand the horror of the Sky Blade Judgment. Not only Apocalypse, but everyone present felt this terrifying power. Sister Angel, save us. We are still here, Tony Stark shamelessly shouted to Yan sitting alone in the sky. Even if the Sky Blade Judgment was not released against the Avengers alone. At such a close distance, I am afraid that except for Hulk, none of the other Avengers will survive. Ah, Apocalypse felt threatened. Release your ability with all your strength. For a time, the sky was filled with yellow sand. It seems that the entire city has been lifted up by Apocalypse. Magneto also took action immediately. In this situation, only he could help. Even if he wanted to escape, there was simply no time. After Apocalypse strengthening, Magneto's strength is also quite terrifying, and he has reached the peak of the fourth level mutant. Countless iron filings combined with the sand formed a solid city wall. Everyone in the Avengers was also stunned by Apocalypse's operation. Emotions, it was just as if they were just playing tricks on them, without using any real strength at all. From the perspective of the Captain of the United States, Magneto and Apocalypse combine metal and sand, plus their abilities. In terms of hardness alone, it is definitely not much worse than vibranium. However, even such a strong city wall began to melt from the moment it encountered the Sky Blade Judgment. People around him could even clearly feel waves of heat hitting their faces. It felt like taking a bath in a sea of fire. The Heavenly Blade Judgment is still approaching inch by inch. The defense formed by Apocalypse and Magneto is gradually collapsing. Finally, the Sky Blade Judgment finally hit Apocalypse. Ah, Apocalypse screamed. The skin on her body was destroyed and disintegrated at a speed visible to the naked eye. At the same time, Apocalypse's powerful self-healing ability is constantly repairing its collapsed body. Obviously, the speed of repair cannot be balanced by the speed of destruction. Apocalypse, dissipated in the judgment of fire. At the last critical moment, Angel Yan took action to protect the Avengers and the X-Men. Yes, they did not directly bear the power of the Sky Blade Judgment. Gulu, look at the big pit appearing on the ground. The Avengers and X-Men were completely shocked and speechless. Oh my god, how much power does it take to create such a big crater? Stark compared all the weapons in his company and found that such power seemed to be comparable to that of only nuclear bombs. Thor, you just seem to be saying, how many angels can you fight with one person? I, I, Thor stammered, how come each of these angels is more perverted than the other? Thor said it was too difficult for me. He was just bragging, but as a result, these people were more aggressive than each other, and they couldn't have fun anymore. Now, Thor is even beginning to have some doubts. Is Asgard really a cosmic force on par with Angel? Is there anyone stronger than him in Asgard? Yes, but definitely not many. I'm afraid I could count them all on one hand, otherwise I wouldn't have let Loki succeed in making trouble again and again. And now, any angel who comes out will be a mess. These angels are simply giant humanoid monsters wearing angel skins. There is so much power hidden in such a small body. Looking at the big hole on the ground, Iron Man couldn't help but begin to doubt the path he was taking. Is this kind of power really what his technology can achieve? His steel armor, 
Mark series armor, let alone Angel, even against Apocalypse, has a huge amount of difference. Not just Tony Stark, but the rest of the Avengers. In front of Angel's strong strength, he also seemed so powerless and weak. They even began to doubt that if the Earth was in catastrophe as Angelian said, could they really protect the Earth alone? Sister Yan. Angel flew back from outer space. Angel Yan sat on the cloud with a calm face, a pensive expression, as if he was thinking about something. Ajwe, Apocalypse doesn't seem to be dead. Angelian suddenly said to Ajwe. What? How is this possible? In the Heavenly Blade judgment just now, even if Angel didn't use full power in order not to hurt innocent people, it was definitely not something that Apocalypse could resist. You know, Sky Blade judgment is something that even a god of Morgana's level has to avoid for a while. Indeed, with Apocalypse's strength, it is almost impossible to resist the Heavenly Blade judgment sent by Angel. And this is indeed the case. When Apocalypse came into contact with the Sky Blade Judgment just now, his body was indeed being destroyed at an extremely fast speed, but in the end, Angelian felt as if another space force appeared and took Apocalypse away. In fact, this is indeed the case, and Angelian was not wrong. When Apocalypse was about to be completely killed, Apocalypse felt as if he had entered another space completely. While Apocalypse was still congratulating himself for surviving, a man and a woman walked out of the void in front of Apocalypse. The man is handsome and the woman is beautiful, just like the golden boy who stepped out of the animation. Apocalypse knew that the two people in front of him should be the ones to save him. This man and woman are none other than Vegito and Liang Bing. When Apocalypse was about to completely decompose, Liang Bing opened a space-time wormhole and took Apocalypse away. Thank you for saving my life. Although Apocalypse didn't know who the two people in front of him were. But he knew that the means he just used were far from what he could handle. What's more, although Apocalypse was not dead just now, he was severely damaged by the Sky Blade Judgment. It is impossible to use all your strength in a short period of time. Apocalypse can live for thousands of years, so naturally he won't be a dumb kid who doesn't understand anything. He has absolute humility when facing strong men. But at the same time, he was also on guard, ready to use his own space to teleport to escape at any time. You don't have to be nervous. I'm just trying to calm down a few of your issues. If I'm satisfied, I can let you live. Vegito stood up and walked to Apocalypse. Apocalypse stared into those abyss-like eyes, as if he had looked at those worthless slaves. Sir, if you have any orders, just ask, I will tell you everything I know. Apocalypse immediately stepped forward with a flattering look. But behind Apocalypse, Apocalypse's restless hands began to move randomly. Once you find that the opponent is slacking off, you must launch a thunderous blow. You've been in Charles's mind space for so long, and you've seen a lot of things. Vegito took one step and appeared in front of Apocalypse, placing his hand on Apocalypse's head. Say it and you can live. When, Apocalypse was shocked. Even with Quicksilver's speed, Apocalypse could react and launch a counterattack. But at that moment, Apocalypse didn't even feel anything as Vegito had already pressed her on the head. Obviously he felt that the movement of the man in front of him was not fast, but there was a feeling that he couldn't resist. After realizing that the opponent's strength was far stronger than his own, Apocalypse became even more humble. Yes, sir. Apocalypse entered Professor, but he didn't expect that he was still no match for the Sky Blade Judgment. If the two people in front of him hadn't come to help, he would probably have died by now. Apocalypse tried hard to recall the useful information obtained from Professor X's spiritual world. There is a piece of information that Professor X has kept very closely. Even, Apocalypse can feel that once he takes over Professor X's body, Professor X will use his final power to destroy this information without hesitation. Because Professor X was too protective, Apocalypse has only scratched the surface. I saw that there seemed to be a lot of people who wanted to pursue a longer life, and then they reached out to a child with a long tail. There were also some blue-skinned aliens and pink-skinned ones. They look the same as Earthlings. Very similar, Apocalypse said tentatively. Then he cautiously looked up at Vegito. He only got this information in Professor X's mind. He seems to be distracted. Good chance. Apocalypse saw Vegito's expression lost in memories. He made a quick decision and used his space teleportation ability to escape. After all, for a person like Apocalypse, 
he only believes in himself, and his life is safest only if it is in his own hands. Neither Vegito nor Liang Bing could stop Apocalypse from escaping. In front of these two people, as long as Apocalypse has not escaped from the solar system, there is no difference from standing in front of them. After a while, do you need me to teleport him back? Liang Bing walked to Vegito and gently asked for Vegito's opinion. He had just marked the space mark on Apocalypse, and she could bring Apocalypse back at any time if she wanted. It's not necessary. Vegito shook his head lightly. He fired a Qigong bomb at random. As long as Vegito has memorized the energy in his body, it will be impossible to escape from Vegito's grasp as long as he does not escape from this universe. Apocalypse, who had just escaped from Vegito and Liang Bing, subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. Those two people just now were too dangerous. Just standing in front of them made Apocalypse feel a power that was difficult to resist. If they really take action, Apocalypse guarantees that those two people will crush him into a scumbag in minutes. But now it's okay, he escaped from those two people. Phew, the earth is really too dangerous. I have to find a place to hide quickly. Apocalypse muttered to himself. With his strength, he can rule a planet even if he reaches an alien planet. There are too many people who can threaten him on the earth now. Not to mention that the two angels who came out first had the strength to threaten him. The man and woman in the back give Apocalypse a more dangerous feeling than Angel. Suddenly, Apocalypse's hair stood on end. His senses were warning him of danger. Danger. Apocalypse looked up. A light blue energy ball was flying towards him rapidly. This energy ball is only the file size of a fist. Compared to the Sky Blade trial just now, it is actually small and insignificant. However, it gave Apocalypse a more dangerous feeling. Run, Apocalypse tried to escape, but he found that he was locked and couldn't move. Apocalypse resisted desperately and tried to escape, but it had no effect at all. He could only watch the energy ball getting closer and closer to him. Until the moment it is released to Angel, Apocalypse's powerful defense, powerful self-healing ability, and powerful life are like paper at this moment. There was no resistance at all, and Apocalypse didn't even struggle for a moment before turning into ashes. You know, in the Sky Blade trial that Angel was chasing just now, Apocalypse still used his own body to resist for a long time. In X College, Apocalypse, seems to be dead. Yan raised his head and looked into the distance. A mushroom cloud of huge amounts rose into the sky. Compared to the Heavenly Blade judgment that Angel had just chased, it was only more powerful. Who is that? Angelian thought in confusion. The power just now had no trace of Morgana's feel, and it couldn't have come from the devil. In addition to demons, there are other powerful people on earth. The power just felt to Yan was not weaker than hers at all. If it wasn't full strength, it would be terrible. Let's go. Let's go to Kree. According to Apocalypse's description, Vegito already knew. The appearances described by Apocalypse are no different from those on Earth, and most of them are blue-skinned people. They should be Kree. Oh, okay, I'll contact Devil Number One right now. Liang Bing said immediately. The Kree Empire is located on the planet Hala in the Large Magellanic System. No matter how awesome Liang Bing is, he cannot use a micro wormhole across the galaxy by himself. In this universe, the only ones capable of creating large wormholes across galaxies are Angel and the Death God Carl's Big Clock. Definitely, the Space Gem will work too. Therefore, the only way Liang Bing could think of to get to the Large Magellanic Cloud was to rely on her demon No. 1. After all, the Large Magellanic Cloud is 155,000 to 165,000 light years away from Earth. If we relied on Earth's technology, it would probably take tens of millions of years. Can't get there either. With the warp speed of Demon 1, it would take 10 days and a half. No need, Vegito said casually, taking Liang Bing's hand. As Vegito took his hand, Liang Bing's face turned red for a moment. Consciousness became blank. Although she has lived for 30,000 years, this is her first time having contact with the opposite gender. Sure enough. I know that I am still very charming. Even the god of destruction cannot stop my charm. Liang Bing feels that his Vegito strategy does not seem to last as long as 10,000 years. According to the current progress, I am afraid that I will be able to capture Vegito in less than a thousand years. 
After all, it had only been so long before they were already holding hands. Arrive. While Liang Bing was still immersed in his fantasy, Vegito's voice came from Liang Bing's ears. Oh, here we are. Ah, are you here? Liang Bing suddenly realized that something was wrong. A space means that spans at least 155,000 light years. Or bring her a fourth generation divine body. Liang Bing estimated that if she were to calculate this, she would have to calculate it until the sea is gone and the rocks are gone, and even the stars have passed. However, Vegito arrived so easily. Sure enough, Vegito is really a genius, she just picked up a ghost. You know, Liang Bing's obsession with space technology will last until death. Ruogo said that the way Liang Bing looked at Vegito before was just admiration and awe. So now, Liang Bing's eyes were full of the look that would only appear when looking at the person you love the most. Now Liang Bing's eyes were full of love. Vegito is not only the most powerful male god in the universe, but also has absolutely powerful potential. And he also masters Liang Bing's favorite space technology. Very young and extremely malleable. He is simply Liang Bing's ideal male god. Liang Bing can't wait to swear an oath to Vegito right away and become his guardian angel. The Kree Empire is indeed one of the three major empires in the universe along with Skrull and Sheer. It has absolutely powerful technology. Not long after Vegito appeared, he was discovered by the Kree satellite. The Krees are warlike, there are definitely a lot of space battleships around the home planet. In a short period of time, battleships all over the galaxy had surrounded Vegito and Liang Bing. Alien, you are already at the core of the Kree Empire. You are ready to be inspected. Alien, you are already at the core of the Kree Empire. You are ready to be inspected. Alien, you are already at the core of the Kree Empire. You are ready to be inspected. The Kree space battleships sent warning after warning to Vegito. Always ready to take action. After all, all fools know that one can quietly break through the Kree's outer defenses and appear in the outer space of the Kree's home planet. Definitely not a normal person. And the supreme wisdom of the Kree Empire is definitely not a fool. In fact, he embodies the wisdom of all Kree people. Liang Bing stepped forward and wanted to deal with these Kree battleships for Vegito. These third-rate space battleships alone could not hurt her, the Demon Queen. Vegito grabbed Liang Bing, and this time, he planned to take action himself. Ah, a powerful aura emanated from Vegito. It shook the surrounding battleships left and right. Immediately afterwards, huge amounts of air waves overturned all the surrounding space battleships. Vegito's hair turned blonde, the pupils turned blue. The entire galaxy began to tremble under Vegito's powerful power. Vegito's power can even be felt throughout the universe. Is, is this Vegito's true power? Even though the power released by Vegito was not deliberately directed at Liang Bing, Liang Bing, who started standing next to Vegito, could still feel his legs becoming weak. Under such power, Liang Bing felt as weak as a newborn child, with no ability to resist at all. Not only the Kree Empire, but other gods in the universe also perceived Vegito's appearance. The God of Destruction, he actually appeared in the Kree Empire. It seems that the Kree Empire is in trouble. In Asgard, the dying Odin looked towards the large Magellanic cloud deep in the universe. This unparalleled power, even in his prime, could not withstand ten moves. If the God of Destruction visits Asgard that day, Odin may have no other choice but to please him. Queen, a huge amount of energy has been detected erupting in the Kree Empire, suspected to be the God of Destruction. In outer space, a sword of huge amounts is moving quickly. The top of the sword hilt is a throne, and Kesha is sitting on it. It's not suspicious, this power is the God of Destruction. Kesha closed her eyes and told Angel beside her. So, do we need to go to the Kree Empire? On Kesha's right side, Jixin turned to Kesha and asked. Ji Shin only has a lifespan of 500 years. In Ji Shin's opinion, the most powerful people in the world are Queen Kesha and her master He Shi. All other gods must be moved to the back. Her faith in Angel cannot be blasphemed. And Angel has been maintaining peace in the entire known universe. Until now, the entire universe has never encountered a character who made Queen Kesha back down. Even if the opponent is a god. Even though her opponent is also the god king, Queen Kesha is still strong. No, we have no control over the god of destruction. Queen Kesha shook her head and said to Ji Shin. 
continue to go to Earth. The top priority is to find Morgana first. Kesha said to the guard-level angels around her. Kesha had also seen the battle between the God of Destruction and Eternity a year ago. The kind of power that can easily destroy the universe is definitely not something Angel can contend with. Even now Angel can run rampant across the universe and uphold justice in the entire known universe. But what if the God of Destruction came to the Angel Nebula that day? There was nothing Kesha could do. Yes, Queen. The surrounding angels followed the orders of Holy Kesha. Continue to move towards the earth in an orderly manner. In the Angel Nebula, a beautiful silver-haired angel sat on the grass and slowly raised his head. The picturesque face is like a treasure in the universe. Even the most picky person can't find a flaw on her face. I can't believe that that little guy has grown so much now. She actually had some fate with that little guy, but she didn't tell anyone about it, including Keisha. Who would have thought that the child who only made her have some affection at the beginning could grow to the point where she is now? He stood up gently and stretched his slender waist like a willow. After staying in Angel Nebula for so long, it's time to go out for a walk. By the way, I can see how that little guy is doing now. She is none other than another king of the Angel Nebula, Tianji King Hexi. The entire universe knows that the Holy Kesha of the Angel Nebula is an absolute powerhouse even among the God Kings, but few people know about his eyes' existence. However, Kesha knew that he she was stronger than her in some aspects. After making up his mind, Hexi left a duplication in the Angel Nebula and flew away from the Angel Nebula alone. Although duplication does not have Hexi's full strength, it can still protect the Angel Nebula and face most emergencies. No matter how bad it goes, he can still hold on until she and Kesha come back. Tiandao Galaxy, Fierce Sun Star. D. Lena hugged her knees and sat on the throne belonging to the Flame King without any image of a queen. Pan Jen, Pan Jen, I'm going out to play. That's nonsense. Didn't you just perceive the power of a million fixed star explosions? With your meager skills, you can't even protect yourself when you go out. Facing people like that, I can win even if I fully master the power of the sun. It's not that you don't want me to go out. Reina muttered in a low voice. Quote dot 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 quote. Most of the powerful people in the universe have sensed the aura exuded by Vegito. Even the people on the earth can perceive the power that is so huge that it makes one's heart palpitate. In front of this power, even Queen Kesha seems a bit insignificant. Yan said with some uncertainty. She had had a moment of feeling for Queen Kesha's power. Vast, powerful, like the sun. However, even though this power is far away, one can still clearly perceive the deathly silence that can destroy everything. Sister Yan, what happened? Angel chased Angel Yan and asked. The God of Destruction, appeared. Yan explained to Chase beside him. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.